The watch you're about to see is an Indiegogo project. It's not available for regular sources, only through Indiegogo. Check the show notes down below for a link that'll take you to the buying page where you can pick this watch up for a really good introductory price. Now, here's the review. Greetings and welcome back to Smartwatch Ticks. It's an exciting day. We have an unboxing for you. Absolutely brand new, very interesting. A Glico Watch 1. This is a hybrid watch. This is something that is both analog and digital. It's for those who prefer a regular old style watch. Oh, look at that. But something that has some smarts to it that you can play with. Wow, this is actually an Indiegogo project that went, went, went. Look at that. 357,000 bucks raised way over what they asked for so they could definitely put some time and energy into developing this thing and they have the Glico e-ink smartwatch they call it is a premium hybrid smartwatch at a radically fair price and you know how uh, it works with Indiegogo they offer some premium ones really cheap but not many and then a few more at a higher price and, and it gears up so at the beginning of this video, you saw a little bit of an intro as to how you can get it. And we have links for you and what the pricing might be. And of course, it's going to get more expensive as more people buy up the premiums. So what does this thing do? Well, first of all, it's got incredible battery life. It's got uh, an analog watch. That's one with the dials and a tick, 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 you know, and it's got a, uh, a button battery that lasts two years. And then the e-ink, which is the fun part we want to look at that is like everything else. It'll last six months, 180 days on a charge, and it's easy to charge. Um, minim minimalist design, they say, that fits any occasion. When you have it on, it just looks like a regular watch. It's got three in-use scenarios. We'll go over that. Sports, business, and leisure and a simple nudge for reminders that are uh, letting you know about incoming events, mail, calls, whatever. So you're not going to get all of the stuff you can read, but you're going to get notified. And a lot of people, that's all you need. You need to know if something came in, you got your watch in, or your phone in silent, but you know you can tell from your wrist that you need to check it out. Also, it's 30 meters waterproof. Um, that's the full IP68, I believe, for that level. And um, yeah, so you could definitely go in water with this e-ink device. And e-ink is different than LCD technology. You remember the old Casio watches and stuff? They had always on screens, uh, but they would be uh, reflective. You have to have a backlight and all that kind of stuff. Well, this is totally different. Wow, look at this, wow. They've got little protector plastic on the front and the back. Man, they're serious about this. Okay. Uh, guess what? The pans are removable. <laughs> How do I know? Oh, I'm so intuitive. Uh, yeah, that's because there aren't any. Wow. Well, on the back, we've got two pins for a charging connector that will charge the e-paper. I love that word, e-paper. Um, or e-ink, right? E-ink. And it's got its logo, and then you've got heart rate sensor in here as well. So part of its measurements will be biometrics. Looks like we've got a couple of buttons and a knob. Wow. We can, uh, I believe, set the time by pulling it out and turning it. Here we go. Oh, we always like to put clocks at about 10.10. Now, for some reason, that's the magic time. When you look at most watch face pictures, they're going to be at 1010 if they did it right. And then a couple of buttons. So let's get into the user's manual to help us out a little bit. Whoa, this is nice packaging. This is gift worthy right here. Just the way it's been put together. Um, the user's manual is in its own separate wrapping. Wow. Oh, I have fun unboxing. I'm glad you guys like the unboxing because I really wouldn't want to skip it. Okay, it looks like they're both, well, listed as English and Chinese. There, we got the English one. Is this Chinese? Yeah, okay. Okay, so we're with the right manual. And as those of you who've watched this channel before know, I walk through the manual for you and show it on the screen so you can freeze frame uh, your YouTube. Is that the one? Yeah, yeah. 
and um, and take a longer look if you want to either after you've bought the watch uh, and if you don't know where your manual is you can always come back and check out specific things or if you're contemplating buying it it's a good way to really get a uh, an overall look at what all it can do this is fun I'm not sure I'll be able to fully demo this so I want to show it to you right now you can set up a calendar events on your tethered app and if you have meetings and things set up they're going to show up as little white marks at that appropriate time on the watch so you can glance at your watch and know when you have free time and when you're busy i thought that was really cool and you got kind of the same thing you can do with a casual mode with uh, little streaks and stuff on here and of course you got your digital time on there as well and in the sports mode, it's going to like track your steps and whatnot. So if you have a goal set 100%, it'll fill in all the way. We've seen that use of the circle in a lot of sports watches. Well, here it's subtle, but you know, you can monitor lunchtime and uh, you need to go out for a walk or not. And you have it in sport mode, you can tell. Uh, power savings mode turns everything off and it's just a plain analog watch. Nothing, nothing fancy. But it's got everything going in the background, including heart rate accumulation and step count. Anyway, it's got um, removable bands. As you can see, you can get different ones for it. We'll take a measurement and uh, let you know what the band width is for this. Here's how you charge it. And is there a page two? Sure is. Wow. Okay. Um, instructions for the watch buttons. Well, that's good to know. Take a look at that. Okay, we just did the hand adjust uh, for the uh, an or analog or you know the regular uh, stop the regular watch. Here, this is what we need on the, uh, either uh, Apple or uh, Android. You go and look for Gle Gle Glico, <laughs> the Glico watch app, and you can scan the QR code or check the show notes. I have oh, that's really close. The show notes. I have the the link for you right there, and we're going to show you that in just a minute. Here's how you connect it to the app. You uh, get it all set up with your data and then pair the watch. And introduction to the watch. You have a page for your pedometer information. Another one for sleep. So you wear it to bed. Look at that. You get the breakdown of all your sleep time. Heart rate. Uh-huh. And then your agenda. That's that whole calendar thing we were talking about. That's new. Have not seen that on any other... Uh, even the sophisticated apps um, and smartwatches. Okay, here's our spec sheet. Oh, this is great. I was sad I wasn't able to show you one at the very beginning, but I got it for you right here in the manual. You like that? All right. E-Ink uh, segmented display in this thing with just a tiny amount of memory and a 100 milliamp hour battery, but because of the low power, it can last a long, long time. Here's some cautions for you to read about a warranty for you to read about and of course you could fill it out on your very own and for contact information there you go the last page all right what else is in the box i got two more things i love it i love it look how they make it so easy just lift in and i hope the rest of you manufacturers are looking at this because you need to work on packaging oh my goodness Oh, lucky me. Look at this. I got the metal bands. I mean, it comes with different kind. And you can get them uh, when, you, when you buy it through the perk thing in Indiegogo. And uh, one of those options is the metal band. So in a minute, I'll put it all together and take all the plastic off. And I got to adjust it. You know how to do that on these, right? They're really simple, but sometimes challenging. You have to lift that bottom part up here. And if you can't do it with your fingernail... Get like a screwdriver or something and just lift that up. Then you're able to slide this whole clasp up and down to where you need it. And then you push this back and push it down. Sometimes it's really hard. It's got to line up just right. But keep at it until it pushes down into the metal and clicks. Um, it's the same on all of them. And this is, it felt like it was magnetic. I guess, yeah, there's a little bit of magnetism in there too. Cool. And... Where are we without a wire, right? So the charger for this, remember it's gonna go six months without charging. So you can plan that sailing trip around the world, charge it up before you leave and probably still have power when you get back, uh, unless you're a slow rower. USB, two pins, magnetic coupling, 
Works that way. Shouldn't work that way. Nope. And that's it. Plug it in and charge it. And we're going to do that right now. We'll be right back. Here we go. I've got the band all adjusted and on my arm and the watch is ready. Oh, I can't wait. I got a flashlight here so we can give you simulated sunlight as well. And I've got the Glico Watch app ready to launch here from the Google Play Store. So let's start by turning it on. The on button is pressing and holding the lower button for a couple of seconds. It vibrated. Whoa, look at it flash. All righty. There we go. I've got time. I've got a uh, white paper white and it's blinking a few times. No idea why. There's uh, you see the black bar going around here. And if I press it quickly, I can switch it so that it's the white against the black. So it's a paper that works both ways. Really, really cool. I'm going to run it in the white mode. And if I press for two seconds, oh, look at that. Now it's a full circle. I'm not quite sure what's happening, but I think it's going through all those different modes. Let's get over to the app. Wow. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess it's cycling through all the modes. There's one of them where there's just that, and then it goes to another and to another. The app. The app is uh, from the Google Play Store, the Gligo Watch app. When we open it, it opens into here where we have scenario switching aha this is where we can change it from one thing to another is from the app there's a shopping mall and setting it up before we get to that there's another screen that talks about the health assistant for sleeping or running or heart rate so you've got all those three things going and ultra low power consumption and you can change the straps so we're ready to set up the watch we go in here oh my name well, I usually put SWT for smartwatch ticks. Nobody could recognize it that way, right? Next, gender, okay. Next, birthday, I'll just keep it. And height and weight. And those are in kilograms. And your step goal. And then modes. Here's the different modes. It's set for casual which is a geek style that makes you different <laughs> as opposed to business, which is the easily schedule every day or sport mode. I think I'm going to go with a uh, sport mode and that's going to let me uh, see my steps on the watch. And then power saving six months, super long standby time. If you're just using it uh, basically as a watch next, it's searching for the device and it found it. Look at that. And that's the signal strength and finding the device and connecting and it should update the time it says it's 3 10 in the afternoon boom there we go we are set up i've already got 319 steps on here distance calories burned all that stuff is on the pedometer tab can i slide over yeah Sleep monitoring, which I haven't done yet, but that uh, I think I will. I'll give it a try tonight, sleep with it, and see what we get. And we've got uh, the different um, modes, right? And remember, I, I set it up to be in a sports mode. Well, that would be there. Here's the business mode. When I set that up, if I had any appointments, they would show on the watch. If I had walked any steps, they should show in, the, uh, in there. And then the casual mode is over there. And then the power savings mode is over there. All right, it's, it's starting to look familiar. Oh, look, power serving savings turned it all off. So it's just basically a watch. So yeah, you can control everything right here from the app itself. There's the time and all of that good stuff. Okay, that's uh, this page. Then I come over here and there's the heart rate. We haven't done that yet. To do the heart rate, oh, what did it say in the manual? I think we press the top one and hold it for two or three seconds. I'm holding. Yeah, I just got a vibration. And now it should switch over. Showed me some battery information. Showed me a heart. And it should begin uh, taking my pulse. This is a cool watch. I like it. Oh, my little clasp is not on there tight. Okay, you should be taking a pulse, are you? I guess it takes it a little while to stabilize. Uh, tips. 
Here we go. I'm getting something. Okay, there we go. I've got 72. And it's rechecking it. Looks like it's dynamic. It's doing it live. I got a little uh, bit on the chart here. And then I could hit a plus. Ooh, what's all that stuff? Looks like I could do a camera and uh, something else. Wow. Okay, I'm going to move on. Keep going. Here's our agenda. This is where we could put stuff on the schedule, which I imagine we add here. Wow, 63 hours, 18 minutes that it hasn't been moved. Okay, outstanding event, 46. Wow, okay, uh, stuff to learn about it. But this is the agenda portion of it. This is the heart rate portion. It's bounced out of that now, and that was my settled amount right there. And recheck, checking. Okay, you can check it right straight from the app itself. Oh, it's vibrating. Notice I didn't really charge it. Sorry, guys. I only have 21%, so I'm going to really have to charge this thing up overnight and, uh, and go with it. But I want to crank this uh, review out as fast as I can. There's assist settings here. So if I go in here... Cool. All right. Here we go. I can have no display. I can have the date display. Uh-huh. It's vibrating. Oh, it's giving me my heart rate because that's what I was, was trying to get. Or you can have the uh, time display. So if you want to use the time for time and have date, and I'll leave it that way, you've got it. You can set uh, black or white, your goals. You can have it uh, notify you for calls, uh, your agenda message alerts that you're tethered to and any of the applications that you've got remind you of sedentary uh, time that's time to get up and move 90 minutes works for me nice and uh remind you to drink water at these different times throughout the day okay and low power less than 20 percent is when it'll uh, go into low power mode which it might be going into now because it's i think it was what, 21 percent uh, set alarm clock anti-lost, so um, you can find your phone if you're lost and you have the app running. And uh, you search mobile using whatever tone you want. Um, let's do a warning voice. Uh -huh. How to use it? Oh, you got to go into a browser for that, but that gives you instructions. Firmware version and device number. Doesn't look like I have any updates available there. But that's all the stuff in the settings section. And that was available. Oh no, lack of electricity. Okay, I think I'm going to need to charge the watch. Yeah, yes, yeah, down to its 20% threshold. So you got to see it go into the power savings mode now. And over here, there's uh, the smartwatch. Um, here's the store about us and feedback that you can leave from the app. And when you go into the store, you got to go into the browser as well. So let you do that on your own as well. Okay, that's the overall app. And uh, it looks like it's got all your basic stuff in it, your health pedometer stuff, your sleep, and your heart rate, as well as an agenda uh, that can all integrate seamlessly to the cool new e-ink watch. Yeah, very nice. Okay. One more thing to tell you about are all these other icons that will show up on the screen when it's appropriate. For example, an email message might, whoa, might light this one up. Phone call coming in, text messaging. I think that just means you're hooked up and on. Down here, you've got the original heart rate that flashes when you're getting a heart rate measurement. Here's another heart uh, symbol that could show up. The chair is your sedentary reminder, the water drop for drinking water, and your battery level indicator could pop up when you're on low battery. And those, oh yeah, and the uh, symbol that shows when you're charging. And those are all the different uh, e-ink icons that you could see. Now, wanted to leave you also with a measurement or two. Some folks might be interested in getting the band, so look for a 21 millimeter. Comes in about 21.4 for this metal one. As far as the diameter of this watch, including the button, 44 millimeters. And without the buttons, the watch itself is 41.1 millimeters. 
And thickness wise, 12.6, mm, seven, a little over 12, almost 13 millimeters. Once again, um, this is an Indiegogo project, and here's information on how you can get yours. It's in production now, obviously, and you can pick up a perk. They're called perks there just by using the link in the show notes. Now, they've got this little chart, which is a bit dated considering we're on the Apple Watch Series 4, to show you price and battery life comparisons between an Apple Watch, a Rossini, and a really nice, inexpensive Glico. Two-year battery on this one. Okay, we'll see you again soon.